Working on a farm is no easy job with long days taking care of the land and of course the farm animals, but it is rewarding. Michaela, Will and I wanted to give it a try, so we put on, yes, we donned our plaid shirts and headed out to a local farm right here in Little Brody. <laughs> on the farm starts long before the sun rises. My day starts at 3 o'clock in the morning and uh, I start early at another job and I come back here and go right into the farm on it. Timberdoodle Farm locally grows all of the products they sell. Well, it's a beef farm and hay farm now and we sell that and um, it, we transitioned in 2004 from a dairy farm. This is called wrap silage, which is hay that's got moisture content, and right. it shrink wraps, so it takes all the oxygen, right. and then it ferments, and it retains the nutritional value for the cows, as opposed to dry hay. Say dinner is served. Everybody's hungry. It starts off early and all the animals have to be fed. The animals have to be taken care of first. This is our first batch of meat chickens. The difference between like a German Shepherd and a Labrador, you wouldn't want your Labrador to be your attack dog. Mm -hmm. The meat birds are bred specifically for bigger meat and muscles. I mean, they're chickens, they lay eggs, but there's more to them to yes. eat. And look how cute. Here you go. That is a batch of 30, and we'll do five batches of 30 all summer long. We don't raise the meat birds in the winter, so they get to go free in the pasture, and then they lay eggs all in those little milk crates, the modified milk crates. I've come for your eggs. Oh, wow, they make it easy. They're over right here. So, Wendy, I'm usually the king of supervision, but today you're putting me to work? Yes. What am I doing? You get the cute job. Uh, the cute, everybody loves bunnies. You're my favorite. Should I fill this all the way? Yes, please. All right. Well, I'm already doing a good job, aren't I, Wendy? It's all right. All right. There's a loose one. See him? Oh, my He'll God. be happy. <laughs> yeah, he's in the corner. Is this a hourly activity, daily? They get fed twice a day, morning and night. They get food and water. I clean them out every maybe four or five days, depending on sometimes the weather. Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> Guys, ready to eat? Lunchtime. Here we go. All right, hang on. Let's put it back in quick. That one's name is Cujo. Uh oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> she's feeding babies and she's very hungry. Blue Spawn's been here since the 1700s, but our Before family... Before the Revolutionary War, it was here, yeah. As a working farm, and still as a working commercial farm. Let's do this! Always wanted to drive a tractor. All right. First thing, push the clutch in all the way. Okay. Clutch is in. That's your clutch. Those are your brakes right there. Yep. Your throttle. And then that's when you engage that other lever Got to it. start spread the manure. Okay. All right. Sounds good to me. Let's rock and roll. And when the roadshow is asked to work on the farm, we are all in. That was really fun that day. I, I mean, told you I've always wanted a driver, so that works <laughs> that, out. That works out. Yeah, working on a farm is a lot of work every single day, but we had a good, we had a good day. I'm going to start calling you Will the Throttle That's it. Gilbert. And we're ready to go. <laughs> so the question everyone has is, where did the name come from? Well, they told us that Timber Doodle is another name for a little game bird that requires specific conservation. That's right. Yes. Practices and habitat. The bird is known as a woodcock, and they said they are proud of the fact that they practice conservation on the farm so the name fit it did there you go that's fun on that note you're